Hi everybody, this is my one year review of my GoLabs R300 battery pack for camping with my CPAP. So I'll kind of go through what I think of this machine and how I use it for my camping setup. So I'm pretty pleased with this GoLabs machine. If I turn off the hose heater and I turn off the water heater for a night of like seven or eight hours, it uses about 30% of the power. So I can get three nights out of it if all I do is run my CPAP and not charge phones or anything. So this has got the pure sine wave technology, which is important for charging some electronics like laptops and stuff like that. It's been a while since I did my research. I don't remember exactly what was important about the pure sine wave, but this has it, so that's a good thing. It also has a built-in light on the back, nice and bright, it can be used to signal or just as a regular light. So you can choose which one of these power banks you turn off and on. That helps to conserve some of the power. It's going to tell you how much time is left approximately. I turn on my dream station, which has been recalled, but I've been promised a new unit is coming. So you see here, it, it usually hangs out around three to five when I'm awake. Now I don't know if this ramps up kind of draw this ends up with but typically I'll wake up and about 30% of my power is gone so the only drawback to this is if this is sitting a long time and I turn it on it'll say 100% but then I'll hook up my dream station to it and start using it and it kind of drops down to like 80% that's the first time I use it if it hasn't been used in a long time I charged it up yesterday in between uh, stuff at camp here and now it's it's staying at 100 percent so the the first two nights usually is one charge and then after you've used it um it kind of refreshes itself and you get three nights out of it so one thing i've been doing is using this uh, a couple days before to run my cpap at home to kind of drain it down and then charge it back up again and then it has a little bit more capacity to it so um you can take this off of here and just run your your dream station hook your hose right at the back of this but i like to have a little water in there for some moisture and sometimes i'll turn the, the moisture on on one or two in this here if i'm only staying one night so one tip i have for everybody is i stuff my cleaning wipe into this hole here and that keeps bugs from craw crawling into my unit so overall my review, I recommend this unit here if you want to go for two or three nights on a single charge. Now you can get solar charging panels for this. I think it's technically considered a, a solar generator, but it's just way easier to take it down to you know an office at camp and have them charge it for you. If you're in a place that has electrical service Right now we're at Resica Falls in Pennsylvania and I took it down to the medical station and they let me charge it there overnight. Or I was charging it there during the day and we ended up having to go to the hospital with a kid so it ended up getting left there overnight. But it does take like four to six hours to charge up once it's totally drained. You can charge it uh, other ways too with your car and stuff but I just I just plug it into the wall. I don't really go anywhere crazy. If I'm going backpacking overnight, I just don't bring my CPAP machine. And I get terrible sleep. So this is the GoLabs R300. And that's the model number of it. I think it has uh, 300 watts maximum. And it's somewhere around uh, 299 milliamps or something like that. Or 299 watt hours is what it has on it. So there's my review hopefully this was helpful for you i'd like to set it up on my little camp treasure chest here right next to my cot and that's what i do so there's my setup hopefully this was helpful for you thank you and be sure to like and subscribe